Hi everybody, Greg Phelps here. Uh, I just wanted to take a few moments to go through one of the visuals that I like best in Power BI, uh, the smart narrative text box, and specifically how I use this to display dynamic narratives. So, uh, first of all, let's have a quick look at what I'm talking about. Here we'll see an example of this when we make some slicer selections. You can see that the, the text uh, updates automatically in uh, the text box here. So let's just see how that works. Uh, first thing you do is go to uh, make sure that the uh, Smart Narratives Preview feature is enabled. Go to File, Options and Settings, Options, and then um, Preview Features under Global. The fifth one from the bottom is the Smart Narrative Visual. Make sure that's enabled. Uh, so let's go ahead and start building a dynamic narrative. Uh, first thing I do is grab a text editor and compose the text that I want to display. Um, I'm using Notepad++ here, anything will work. Um, next thing I want to do is I compose uh, all the measures that I want to be displaying in my dynamic visual. Uh, I often use uh, specific measures. Um, so I do find it easier to uh, choose the formatting exactly the way I want it for the, the dynamic narrative, uh, which may not be the case when measures are used in different visuals in the report. Um, so then, uh, what I do is I'll copy the uh, text to clipboard. I'll create a new uh, text box. And I'll paste in the text. Whoops, sorry, I missed it. I'll paste the text in. And I can adjust the, whoops, come on. I can adjust the, the font, uh, the size, and the color uh, as I want. And as well, I can also select a background color that I want for the text box. We'll leave the dark blue here. So there I've got my regular text that I want to display uh, in the font and the color that I want to display for the text. Now it's time to start updating uh, uh, with measures. So I select the first placeholder, delete it, insert a value here, and select the measure name that I want. Actually, you need to type it in. Um, Power BI seems to like exact names and lowercase, not sure exactly why. I give it a name um, that's unique to that text box, and there I go. Now, once the measure is in, I can select it and adjust its uh, font and, and size um, and color as I see fit. So there we go. Uh, we'll do that for the second one. Um, again, I'll select it, delete it, uh, add the new value and select the measure that I want. Uh, give it a value name. Whoops. And save it. And again, it's in. Now I can see that my formatting for that is not the way I want it, so I'll adjust the formatting here. So now I have my second measure in. I'll select it. Oops. I missed it, sorry, where did it go? There we go. And I'll adjust, again, the font and size and color as I see fit. Let's choose something different. So it'll be visible here. So that's it. Um, basically, you do that for all the measures that you want to add in and replace all the placeholders and you're done. Um, two, uh, gotchas, if you will, that I found uh, with this method. Um, even if you delete a value, uh, the text box doesn't seem to release that name. So don't try and you reuse value names, use new names all the time. Uh, and also, uh, don't try and format the value as you add it. Uh, I do find that uh, the results are more predictable if you do it um, afterwards. So uh, that's my preference. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, and um, if you like this video, please throw it a like, 
and um, please subscribe to the Enterprise DNA channel if you uh, want to be kept abreast of all the new content. Uh, thanks very much. Bye.